Hi, this is Jeff Greenberger. Earlier, I talked about using the ripple tool to do a single-sided roller. Now I'd like to talk about the roll tool, the N, which, which the key is an N, and I think of the N as a, an actual stitch, like you were stitching with thread. We're going to use this to examine how two rollers work with our clips, and for this I'm just going to zoom in a little bit on it. Now, the way these work is when you go ahead and you click, you're able to actually drag a trim and you'll shorten one side and lengthen the other. Now, that's great. Unfortunately, if this was a interview where we were having a back and forth between the guy on the left and the guy on the right, our problem would be, of course, we've just damaged their audio. What we want to do is we want to hold down the Option key and select this, and this would allow us to do just the video portion of the edit. Now this idea here where you hear the audio and then you see the picture, this is called a split edit and it's where we're hearing somebody before we see them. This is a very common way to hide the edit. I want to show you a couple more ways to do it. One more way here on the timeline, I can just put my playhead somewhere and I can hit the letter E, E to extend the edit and it jumps right to the spot I want. I'll put it back on the edit itself I can also use the trim edit tool here and I'll hit the sorry the trim edit mode I'll hit the letter T and the beautiful part about this is notice that it's got a blue line under each side we saw earlier but just to recap we can click on the left it's a single roller video a ripple we can ripple the incoming shot but we click in the center and we get a roll and in this case I want it to be just of the video alone because this way I can click and drag up here and I can create a split edit this way. Whoops, I made a mistake there. I wanted it to be a double roll. There we go. You can also use your numeric keypad and touch type plus or minus numbers. Plus goes to the right, minus goes to the left. Don't think of them as minus and subtract. We have our same numbers here, and it's these buttons up here. They are option left and right arrows for one on the Macintosh. That's control left and right arrows on the PC and add in the shift key on your respective systems for five. You can also use JKNL and do this dynamically allowing you to play, hit the K key and commit the trim. The little spaghetti. It's a beautiful way to do split edits and it's a beautiful way to work with this very valuable tool because with the trim edit mode up here in the program monitor, I can see the outgoing and the incoming shot, making it very easy for me to make a match frame action between two disparate takes.